My name is Rosa Malango, and I'm the daughter of late Tomas Malango Wumangongwe Koka and Pilar Diombe Diangani. Um, my father, Tomas Malango Wumangongo, was part of Mona Lige, one of the independence movements for Equatorial Guinea. Born on December 29, 1939, in Ekukubata. Um, on December 16, 1965, the United Nations endorsed the right to self-determination of the people of Equatorial Guinea after a long battle fighting for independence. On 12 October 1968, Equatorial Guinea was granted the independence, and both uh, Rafael uh, Evita and Tomas uh, Malango signed the Magna Carta of Independence at the United Nations in 1968. It's important to note that the group of Manalige uh, USA, who were present at the time, in addition to my father, Tomas Malango and Bomangongo, included Saturnino Ibongo, Jose Comba, Rafael Evita, and Mariano Mikwe. They are the witnesses um, of our independence. Um, unfortunately, our first president, Macias, led the country into a very dark period of history where there was a severe brain drain. We lost our GDP, and we also lost our basic infrastructure. In 1979, uh, following um, the intervention of the now president, Teodoro Obiang, an amnesty was granted to all political refugees to return and a call for them to rebuild the country. In 1979, as part of that return, I saw an Equatorial Guinea that was a beneficiary of, an, of humanitarian assistance that needed help from everyone for everything, from infrastructure, roads, lights, to services, health, education, we even imported food. During the last decade, I've seen an Equatorial Guinea ready to give back to the international community, contributing to the tsunami victims in Japan, helping Haiti um, during its time of need, helping Central African Republic when it needed a peacekeeping force with funding, and also supporting the international response to Ebola in West Africa. I've seen an Equatorial Guinea trying to figure out how to become a donor, uh, working with the FAO to set up a food security trust fund for African states by providing $30 million and mobilize, mobilizing other African states to contribute. So the Equatorial Guinea, which my late father, Tomas Malango Bomangongo, witnessed becoming a member of the United Nations in 1968, is an Equatorial Guinea which he thought could become the Kuwait of Africa. This year, 2018, it marks 50 years. So think 50 years, we need to reflect on the fact that it has gone from being a recipient of humanitarian aid, needing everybody's help to survive, to thinking about how to become a donor for Africa and for the world.